13 different companies offer this service in Montana. A controversy over pricing and insurance coverage has led a legislative committee to review the services. Frustration from patients, air ambulance companies, and insurers spilled out at a, com a committee hearing earlier this month. It's the experience no one wants to encounter, having to be lifelighted to a far-off hospital to receive the care you need to survive. The high cost of the air ambulance service has created enough controversy between insurance and life flight companies to lead to a legislative committee to review this service. I think that all parties sense some level of frustration that they couldn't enter into business relationships with the other parties. The frustration is about money, money charged by some air ambulance providers and the amount of money that insurance companies will reimburse those flight companies. We've got 10 providers in the state of Montana that are in network and have agreed to that or lower rates. Now when the insurance carriers are, 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 are capping in essence and deciding what our services are, are going to be reimbursed at, it not only jeopardizes our ability to provide this service, ultimately those struggles and, and the price to be paid gets passed down to the patients. It's really some of the out-of-state providers that have come in in the last couple of years whose rates are significantly higher. It's not our responsibility to make a private business model sustainable, and we certainly shouldn't be obligated to pay Summit, for example, whatever they want to charge. Despite this controversy, some air ambulance providers do have contracts with Medicare and insurance companies. St. Vincent Hospital in Billings for 36 years has provided this service, Air Ambulance in Montana. St. Vincent's chief financial officer told the legislative committee that they've operated successfully. At, at a, a slight profit, and so it's not that we're losing money. However, because some services don't have agreements with insurance companies, they offer their own plan. When checking your mail, you may have opened a letter that looks a lot like this one, and that's a membership application for an air ambulance company. But is it the right choice? Some people who have used an air ambulance service say they don't think it's worth the extra money. I would not suggest to anybody to just go out and get a life flight membership because you don't have that guarantee that that's who's going to fly you. But I have to pay on top of that another 60, 70, sometimes $100 annually so that I don't get balance billed when that's why I have insurance in the first place. These are just some of the issues that the interim legislative committee is grappling with, trying to address the concerns of the air ambulance providers while protecting the patient. Given the task of coming up with some sort of framework or network that would allow these entities to operate uh, and, and also protect the Montana consumers. Jesse Laslovich chairs that new working group. He tells me one of the biggest challenges for the state is that air ambulance service is not federally regulated. Make sure to join me tomorrow for the final part of my special series on this life-saving transportation.